I was just gliding through space time and I looked down at my watch and it was eight minutes a mile and my heart rate was 129 and at that point I yawned after 800 meters I almost fell asleep I was like this is not fair I, I have never been this fast Hey fam, I'm at a crossroads. Let me tell you what's going on. As you probably know, I am a creator who likes to run. Despite starting running in the middle of my life, my life runner, I decided I wanna get faster, so I hired a coach. And I'm really struggling how to update you on the process of how it's going because of this new mantra I adopted. For those of you who are new to the channel, I started running in 2020. I went down the rabbit hole of the Maffetone method and low heart rate training and I documented that process because really that's all I had to offer besides kick-ass jokes That'll straight drop kick you in the throat Right in the larynx Eventually I decided to return to my roots You got something uh, in your teeth mm. Mm. Power is right compels you Obey your thirst demon Not those roots but more of the narrative-esque roots of following my training. Did like breaking 125, I did a series called breaking three, I'll put that right here. Spoiler alert, I did not reach my sub three goal. So a few months back, I hired a coach, Matt Fox from Sweat Elite for a speed block 5K and 10K work. I was thinking some thoughts. I was like, what do I call this series? And I can't really call it breaking 18 because I don't even know what the goal is. See, I'm running this 5K eight days from now, maybe four days from the publishing of this video, and I don't know what my goal is. Well, why is that, you jag off, you ask? Very rudely, I might ask, and the answer to that question is because I'm training by effort, effort pace, so I might run one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute at 5K effort with one minute rest. I don't even know if my effort's right. I'm just running hard. I'm not looking at the pace. I don't know what's realistic. I don't know what kind of shape I'm in. I've never run a 5K. I don't know what the goal is. Anyway, I can't make a series called Breaking 18 because first of all, I don't, that's not really a thing. Maybe I could see Breaking 20, Breaking 15, certainly Breaking 13. Maybe a hundred guys who can make that series. Second of all, for all I know, I would be running like an 18, 33 or an 1840 so what's the point of saying breaking 18 if i'm not even close or like a 1740 that would be a surprise but you know it doesn't make sense to just say breaking 18 but andrew you say but don't say but i say for you because i'm the one making this video it doesn't have to be like this you can know where you're at all you have to do is pull up strava and look at the data well that's true but i'm going to tell you a story don't worry it's a it's a short story and it goes like this no the end okay well not the end because i'm going to keep talking so i guess i'm terrible at short stories maybe it's more like a novella anyway here is why i'm not going to look at the data no more data no more thinking okay look when my coach prescribes the training it's by effort i'm just running by effort and i feel like a free man i don't look at heart rate i don't look at pace the watch beeps i run the watch beeps i jog or i walk recovery the watch beeps again and i run i just run and that is my new mantra is it is it mantra or mantra connor mantra what mantra? i'm gonna go mantra anyway just run and i put this on threads by the way and i said i was never much of a thinker anyway why start now and i think i was wrong i think the problem is the opposite so I'm an overthinker, overanalyzer. I've been married to heart rate for years. I think too much. Now, if you're still actually watching this video, you're obligated now to subscribe. And I, I did open up memberships. I make exclusive content for members. Oh, and I also want to tell you this. So when you start a YouTube channel, the algorithm on YouTube will start to serve you 
other YouTube channels that talk about how to make YouTube videos and how it all works. And one of the things that they say in there, the pieces of advice, is they say to outsource everything as much as you can so you can focus on the creativity and the content. Hire an editor. Yeah, do that. With what money, ho? I work in coffee. The only guy making money in coffee is Howard Schultz. He's making a lot of it. Anyway, hiring a coach is the same as hiring an editor in that analogy. But hiring a coach has taken the mental load off of my plate. I don't have to worry about writing a training plan, what workouts I need to prescribe myself. I don't have to question whether or not what I'm doing is working or not. I just have to run and it is working. But Andrew, how could you possibly know it's working when you don't look at the data? Data is everything. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I was on an easy run a few days ago and the weather down here for context is like 80 degrees, 95% humidity, the dew points mid 70s, just like one shade below Florida maybe. And I was just gliding through space time. I was like, man, I'm just flying. And I looked down at my watch and it was eight minutes a mile, five minutes a kilometer. And my heart rate was 129. And at that point I yawned. I, after 800 meters, I almost fell asleep. I was like, this is not fair. I, I have never been this fast in my entire life. I just feel it from, from running. So just run, just run. I'm gonna say it like a thousand times until you're so sick of it. Unsubscribe. Anyway, but this gets me into my dilemma. It's like, I, I'm a creator. I grab the camera, I turn it on and I film it. And I tell you, I'm getting faster, but I don't get on here and throw up my Strava splits. And let's be honest, you don't care anyway. You don't really want to see my Strava splits anyway. No one cares. More interestingly, I think you might want to know how I'm getting faster, not to see like the proof. So how am I getting faster? Well, I think it's because I'm doing less. Yeah, you heard me, that's right. I'm out here yelling clickbait to the residentials. So how am I running marginally less in my workouts? Well, I'll give you a couple examples. Like a threshold where I do less was similar to the Jack Daniels six by six with one minute rest. Also now probably known as the Kafuzi. And it was three by six with one minute rest and then a three by three with one minute rest. So very, very similar, but about nine minutes less worth of work. The other way that I'm doing less is in total overall volume. All the prescriptions are like by time, 50 minutes today is 60 minutes easy. So I don't know how much mileage I'm running each week. Until the end of the week, can I take a glance at it? I'm like, oh, 47, 56, 53, 52. And I would say that's where it ends, high 40s to high 50s, probably on average in the low 50s every week or 80 kilometers a week for all my metric friends. And I think the key really is that I'm not really running a long, super long, long run. It's only 90 minutes to 100 minutes. And it usually has some LT1 stuff in there, which is like marathon pace or maybe slightly faster. My body is able to absorb the training better because I'm not putting this giant stressor on it on the weekends, some 20 plus miler. It can just focus on absorbing the speed. You know, there's actually something else that could be happening too, which is that I'm stacking blocks and that's really all it is, is I had this big Houston block. Maybe I was really building up my base. My pyramid got bigger and now for a couple of months I've been doing the speed work and the ceiling's gone back up on that. So it's like not necessarily what I'm doing. It's not the workouts. It's not the long runs. It's not doing less. It's just, I happen to be stacking blocks. Also a possibility. We came along from last place. Bottom to top at a fast pace. Out of this surf, I get touched down. I take a look, get it back eight. I'm in the gym putting numbers up. You know, but there you got bad traits. Never excuse.